Yeah, so a really common thing that um, that people do as part of like a dental routine is to um, swill out a mouthwash. And, you know, for, you know, if, if that's particularly needed for a dental issue, that's one thing. But I think as a routine, then that might not be the best idea because actually um, what it could be doing is actually damaging the microbiome in the mouth. And from episode one, we discussed how it's a one directional system, but it is a system of everything is connected. So if you're kind of constantly wiping the microbiome of the mouth morning and evening, what impact is then that going to have not only on the mouth, but then further down the digestive tract as well. So um, one of my recommendations would be to um, actually do something called oil pulling. Um, and it's a really ancient technique. It comes from, I think, Ayurvedic medicine, actually, you know, Indian medicine. Um, and it's it, the the you can do it with any oil. Sesame oil was the one that's traditionally used, but coconut oil has got antifungal properties, so it might be useful for somebody who's got thrush in the mouth or anything like that. And thrush in the mouth will present itself with what? Uh, like a like white, white coating. On the tongue? Um, yeah. Sometimes. Is that a true thing then, that if you stick your tongue out in the mirror, yeah. an indication of your health is to do with the colour of your tongue? Is yeah, that you can tell a lot from your tongue. You know, I mean, that's what you know. doctors used to do that, is look at your tongue and your nails and your eyes and look at how healthy you were. You know, we rely a lot more on lab data now and blood tests than we do looking at those kind of visual things. But, you know, your tongue actually says quite a lot. You know, you can see for somebody who's had quite long-standing digestive problems, sometimes you can see a really deep crack or crevice running right down the centre of their tongue all the way to the back. You can see a different coating on the tongue. You can see lots of different things that are not right. And that can reflect um, what's going on on the inside. Um, but with oil pulling, what the the sort of theory behind it is it's hugely detoxifying of um, any kind of bacteria that gets in the crevices of the mouth because the texture of the oil um, actually allows it to seep into the cracks that dental floss can't get into. So, um, you know, any sort of cavities or crevices, you know, with the gums, the oil, if you swill it in your mouth for about 15 minutes, first, it must be first thing in the morning. Um, so you've accumulated a lot of bacteria in your mouth while you've been sleeping. And um, you're swilling it around just really gently, not vigorously, because you'd exhaust your jaw. But um, and then after 15 minutes, it's collected such a lot of bacteria and the oil like holds onto it. And then you just spit it out. Um, OK, so definitely don't swallow. Don't swallow it, because all you're doing is then giving your gut a lot to deal with there. Yeah. You always spit it out. And just a tip is spit it out into the toilet bowl rather than the sink, because oh, it, it, could, it, it could set and yeah. pop your sink. Um, and, you know, that's, you know, it does make your mouth feel a lot cleaner. Some people say it really whitens your teeth and or, you know, things like that. I'm assuming this can just be coconut oil you buy in the supermarket, yeah, your yeah. food stuff. Yeah. So take a spoon of that, shove yeah. it in my mouth yeah. and swill it in my mouth while I'm driving my 20 minutes to work. Yeah. And I just spit it out when I get to work. And that yeah. could be really beneficial. You could do that. You could do that. When I do it, I would do it when I when I was in the shower washing my hair. Oh, OK. Yeah. And then so you sort of put, you know, get up, put, put the oil in your mouth and then you just happily swill it around, wash your hair, get out of the shower, spit out the oil. And that's kind of how I found it works. Um, because, you know, it is it's it's not an easy thing to do. And it's but it's a habit thing to do. And you would say get rid of the mouthwash. I would. Yes, I would. Unless there's a real dental reason to but, have it. Because it's the same reason of killing off the bacteria that look after your you teeth. You're killing off the bacteria that look after it. And so without the healthy microbiome in the mouth itself, you can accelerate tooth decay. So you're kind of fighting your natural defences there. 